Hello Pokemon Go trainers! It is Seahawk Stair with another Pokemon Go video and well not gonna have a Mega Lucario Ray Day without any problem. So Niantic Sport, now they have announced how they're gonna fix this and it's good, but there were some issues that affected some time zones in which the Mega Lucario Ray Day ticket bonuses were not applied for a few hours after 5 p.m. local time. I, I tweeted out, I mean, by, yep, Megan Lucario Red Day incoming. And then right after, the next tweet, as a result, we are extending Megan Lucario Red Day, including ticket bonuses, to Sunday, July 28th from 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. local time for all trainers in affected time zones. That's amazing. Megan Lucario Red Day makeup. So, I mean, I'm in America, United States, maybe no Mega Lucario raids for me, but who knows, I, at least early time zones, maybe I can get some remotes. Now I did almost uh, 100 raids, and we're going to see the next tweet, and next week, affected trainers or affected ticket holders will receive back raid passes used during the affected hours, as well as five star piece and five lucky eggs. That's really good, but I mean, it's, it's a shame that Antique did such a good event with, I mean, six hours. Of course, if you don't want to play the whole time, that's fine. No need. I went overboard like lots of players because Red XL candies for any raid pass, even remotes, is just a little too good to pass up and time to get into the hall. The uh, Meglukai Raid. So, this is my first one. Now, it was a pretty easy duo. Relative, if you have level 50, level 40 Pokemon, level 40 could be a little close, but Party Power helped. And Rare Excel Candies guaranteed, with an actual good chance at getting them. Additionally, from just defeating the raid, I've seen a couple trainers post like three or four from a single raid, and I got a shiny. Second rated. in. That was a 1 in 10 odds. And currently, I mean, this is an evolution, so guaranteed XL. But with the increased chance, I mean, that was a pretty nice shiny. Pretty nice IVs. Definitely lucky traded, though. Got better. Not to brag. No Shundo, but... Here we are going to Mega Evolve. My first Lucario. My favorite Pokemon on the favorite Pokemon and it's here in Pokemon Go. Love to see it. I mean it's an amazing fighting type. Super Glass Cannon and Force Bomb is a good move. PvP it's like a side grade. It could be better than Counter but Counter is so good. But maybe a Counter nerf is going to come for next season. If they did it right before Worlds that would be crazy. That would be nonsense making such a big change in Pokemon Go, but here we are. Force Form added, Mega Lucario is here. And I mean, the ticket bonus is just amazing. Nice that Niantic honored their mistake of saying uh, they would, the ticket gave 13 extra raid passes instead of eight. I mean, they've had some moments of vague information. Enemy with Elite Raids for Mega Rayquaza. People, I mean, people looking in the code, finding Mega Ray Raids. And I mean, considering we did have Groudon and probably Groudon, probably Kyogre Raid Days, definitely a fair assumption. And we are getting the next weekend, more late raids from Mega Rayquaza. I'll do a few if I can. Yeah, I should be able to do some. And this was a pretty nice shiny Lucario. So 1544 was a Hondo. And right now Mother Boosted. And unfortunately it's 11 attack, which is very important. Especially because PvP is where I'd really want to focus. 
Now I do have two hundos and yeah, that is awesome. I mean, IVs, they take priority for plenty of trainers, but shiny and the IVs, that's the holy grail for collectors. I mean, shiny Lucario is an awesome shiny to plenty of people, may not be your favorite. Now, I hope you had success with your shine, uh, your Mega Lucario Raid Day. Now, if it's not make a Raid Day for all trainers, maybe just early time zones. Would be nice if it was all time zones, but I will definitely be doing more, especially with the bonus. But, I mean, 99 Raids, it's, it's insane. But being able to get guaranteed rock cell candy is truly such a great, great bonus. It was pretty easy taking down these Lucarios. Now I'm not showing you all 99 raids. I did not record all 99, but the highlights I did a lot of. Now I definitely recommend trying to get lucky friends and re-rolling your shinies. I mean even just if you just want to try to increase your chance at lucky, lucky hondo as a goal. Try to get your best IVs. Saving a few Lucario is not a bad idea because Lucario is, I mean, incredible fighting type. 1904, weather boosted. 23 off the hundo, but that's me being picky and XL candies, amazing. And I was able to pineapple most. I think almost all I pineapped. Can't recall if I golden razzed one, but that was a really nice shiny. I do have a slightly better one already, but 15 attack. That was so close. And I got a tiny, tiny. Real Lucario, got another real nice shiny, 23 CP off the hundo, and, and another one. The funny thing is, I got this, I already got this, this exact CP. You're going to see 11, 15, 15. I got a duplicate shiny real Lucario, and I got a tiny shiny Lucario, that's amazing. Now, if you uh, double moved your Riolus before Lucario evolving to a Lucario good because Lucario is a more expensive Pokemon to add a second move to. 65,000 K Stardust difference. And that is what that was the last raid. But So Lucario had my Mega Blaziken giving me extra candies and getting doing some nice damage, but total haul 99 Mega Lucario rates. Absolute amazing. And I mean, let's see what my best weather boosted. I'm kept on the Mega Energy 15, 14, 14. Very nice. This was in person. Oh, remote. This was remote. Very nice. And the uh, non mother boosted. My best. 14, 15, 14. That's pretty. That's very respectable. That is a very nice IV. Another 96. Three 96s. But the amount of shinies. I went. I got really lucky. 99. Raids for 11 shiny Lucario. Phenomenal. And I got a tiny one. This one, yeah, tiny. I'm gonna nickname it tiny so I don't uh, forget because that is, I mean, it's cute. I mean, if I ever find someone with that and we are lucky friends, I don't mind mirror trading it.
And I mean, I got Honda Lucario with the new Force Palm excited. But that's not the one I'm going to 50, not going to 51 in this video, just in case I can get some more raids done. Now, I don't mind TMing, using a leaf Asium to add the move. I got this huge yellow, which is really cool. Gonna, gotta stay tuned for the channel. Subscribe. Stay tuned to see a level 50 Yolu in mass, in, well, in Great League. In Great League, Mass League is way too spicy, but we're Excel candy. So I started, I think, like 8 or 9. So 135 gained is amazing. Gonna be putting that into, well, this little Sogaleo. It's gonna be insane. Gonna, gonna be crazy. That's gonna be so fun. And I guess let's see if the so ultra unlock. We still have the twenty remote raid limit. Okay. Four hours until it's over. So maybe not my time zone. Maybe earlier time zones getting the actual raids, but. I mean, if, if you're up for more, honestly, go for it. Even if you do a couple, maybe just one daily pass. I mean, it's, it's been a pretty good event. Unfortunate for Niantic that they made some mistakes, but they've, they've done an honest job of giving acceptable, acceptable rewards. Give me more chance for my Glucario, but that's how it goes. I mean, definitely successful event for me. Got tons of XL candies, and I hope you had a good time with your Lucario, Mega Lucario Ray Day. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for daily Go Valley videos and other Pokemon Go content. Stay tuned. I'm going to definitely stick with this game in the long run. I'm here. I have a channel because of you people. Thank you. It's amazing. The support. I appreciate it. It's amazing. And goodbye.